now we move up into the 8th to 10th spots. Now, in number 10, in the top half of the table, the glorious top half, I have gone with Newcastle United. Now, because obviously they have a hell of a lot of money these days, they actually finished in 11th position last season, and it was a massive comeuppance. They were bottom three, four for a hell of a long time last season. Massive congratulations to Eddie Howe and what he has done to turn that team around from January to the end of the season was phenomenal, like literally phenomenal. Now, in number nine, I have gone with Wolverhampton Wanderers. They finished in 10th position, so I've put them one higher than what they finished last season. They went down a bit because they were with us, West Ham, I say us, I mean West Ham. They were battling with us for the sixth and seventh positions, to be fair. They were the ones right next to us and I was a bit worried, I was, I was me pants a little bit but in the end they did go down a few places and finish in 10th so yeah i think they're going to finish in ninth position one better than last season now in eighth position i have gone with leicester city yeah they finished in eighth last season as well they were in the fourth positions a bit like us at the start of the season but obviously fell back a bit they did come up again at the end to be honest because they were they were in like 11th 12th 13th position midway through the second half of the season but in the end they managed to get eighth position which it's not bad at all. Now, into the European places, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to comment below your top seven right now in the comments. Do it, do it now, do it now. I'm gonna have a little drink just to cleanse the palate while you comment below. now in number seventh position manchester united ladies and gentlemen united should have finished below west ham i'm so i'm sorry united fans if you're watching but they lost to crystal palace on the last game of the season if i remember correctly and all we had to do as west ham is draw or win the damn game and we lost we scored first and we lost against brighton now if we won it obviously we'd finish above them in sixth and they would have finished in seventh, as you can see on the table here. This is how many players they have out. You can read them yourselves, but I'll literally rattle through the biggest ones in here. They have released Edison Cavani, Juan Mata, Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, Dean Henderson's out on loan, and Ronaldo hasn't even been talked about yet. He might be leaving United, and he saved them, bro. I'm sorry, United fans, but he saved you. United's defense is leaky, you know with Maguire, he's just not having, he didn't have the best season with them, I'm sorry. A hell of a lot of players, good players have been released or because their contract expired, it's a big miss. You know, Matic there as well has gone, I forgot to mention him. If Ronaldo goes as well, I can't see him getting any more than seventh. Now in sixth position, the first Europa League spot, ladies and gentlemen, I have gone with Spurs. <laughs> now, yeah, a lot of Spurs fans are like, what? And in all fairness, when I picked Spurs for sixth, I completely forgot about the signings they had made. Their signings are insane, bro. They've brought Longley, I think that's how you say it, on loan from Barca. They have brought Richarlison in from Everton. They have brought Basuma in from Brighton. They brought Fraser Forster on a free from, obviously, Southampton, which is going to be probably their secondary or third keeper. They brought Ivan bloody Perisic on a free bro I know he's over 30 but it's Perisic he is quality he's quality on the ball and obviously they've released a hell of a lot of other players Steven Bergwijn has gone back to Ajax well, I didn't know that at all my god wow obviously they finished in fourth which is the last Champions League spot with the squad they have if they keep Kane and Son then I think they probably will finish above six but if they don't and if the Champions League takes a toll and they go far in it, I don't think they're going to finish higher than sixth. Now, in fifth, I've gone with West Ham in the fifth position, the Europa League spot. Yeah, like, a lot of you are going to go, oh, you're just biased with all of it. But I do think our team was fantastic last season. We had literally 11 first team players and that was it. We had no depth, none. We had one striker, bro. One first team striker. Like, what? What? And we had literally no other depth. And we still managed to finish in seventh position, bro. With one striker. And let me tell you, it's Mikel Antonio. Like, the guy is prone to injuries, but for some reason didn't get any major injuries last season. Bro, imagine if we had two or three strikers and a lot of squad depth. We could have finished in fourth position. We were battling for fourth for the whole season until the end. And then our team obviously ran out of legs. We got to the semi-finals of the bloody Europa League with 11 players. 
No rotation. None. I do think if we get more signings, if we get a striker, and we're looking at getting the Chelsea man and his David Moyes' top target, is this guy right here. Very, very strong, fast, physical. He's better at finishing, I think, than Antonio, which would be good because we need more of a clinical striker. But this guy is very good at holding the ball, which is good for a counter-attacking style because he can hold it, then feed it off to Ben Rama, Antonio, Bowen, you know, Lanzini, all of these guys. If we get him and a couple of other players, you know, a left back as well, then I think we'll be golden and we could push into the top four. You obviously know the teams that are left. We have City, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal. Now, you may be shocked at this or you may not be, but I think with the signings they have done so far this season and the way they looked near the end of last season, I have gone with Arsenal. Now, yes, we all know that Spurs beat Arsenal into the top four last season and Arsenal finished in fifth. I do think they're going to finish in the top four. They're just getting better each season and with the signings they have made this season, as you can see, they've got Marquinhos from Sao Paulo, who isn't the PSG Marquinhos. Uh, they've brought in Gabriel Jesus from City, obviously. Now, what a quality signing this is for them because obviously Lacazette, I think if we have a look, Lacazette has been released mental so obviously they needed a new striker in gabriel jesus which i think is a phenomenal signing for them now in third position i think everyone would have guessed it because we've got liverpool city and chelsea left i have gone with chelsea and yeah obviously people probably guessed that already but chelsea are my third spot they finished in third last season as well only just though tottenham missed out by four points basically i mean they were three points off with a hell of a worse goal difference their team is very strong all around they have some very good strong substitutes and i have literally just seen if it's true raheem sterling has just signed from the 27 year old from city has just signed obviously it's not on here yet because it's literally just today but obviously yes they they've lost rudiger on a free to real madrid massive loss for them Danny Drinkwater has been released. Christensen has gone to Barcelona. Mad Ting. Romelu Lukaku has been loaned out to Inter Milan. What? So they need a new striker and a couple of other players. And then I think they could hit the third spot yet again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the runners up to the Premier League. Is it going to be City? Is it going to be Liverpool? Who knows? Is it going to be Klopp or Pep? Which one is going to win it? Now, in second position, I have gone with... Drumroll, please. Maestro. Liverpool, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's going to be a very close battle between City and Liverpool for this season. Brought in Fabio Calavaro, Darwin Nunes as well. Madness. I think it's £100 million for Nunes. Obviously, West Ham put in a £50 million January transfer window, but... I don't think that was ever going to happen. But they've obviously lost a lot of players as well. They've lost Origi to Milan. They've lost Sadio Mane as well. Bayern Munich obviously bought him. Mane not in a Liverpool shirt, but obviously they do have Diaz. They have this Caravaro guy coming in, Nunes coming in. They still have Salah. Now the champions, obviously everybody knows already, so I, I've already probably put it up on the screen, is Man City. Yet again, ladies and gentlemen, champions of England. Their team is insane. They could have... Their second string team could be contenders for Champions League, bro. Oh, bro, bro, they've brought in Erling Haaland. I completely forgot. What? Calvin Phillips, Erling Haaland, bro. Like, what is going on? Their team was already madness. What is going on? <laughs> oh, God. I completely forgot that they actually had Erling Haaland. I completely forgot they bought him. This man, this man is City. Like, they lost Gabriel Jesus and brought in Erling flipping Haaland, man. This guy is a beast. He's like six foot three. He's 21 years old, bro. He signed a five year contract with them. What is going on? He's got 21 caps for the Norwegian international team. He's scored 86 goals in 89 games in two and a half seasons. Like, like what? And I hear people say, oh, yeah, but it's not the Premier League. Bro, come back to this video and comment you were right when Erling Haaland scores 20 plus goals next season. Like, I'm going to look like an absolute idiot if he doesn't. But yeah, so this guy is going to be absolutely mad. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe as always. We are so close to 200 subs, ladies and gentlemen. It would be absolutely fantastic if we could hit that. And hope you have enjoyed the video. I am going to go and not talk for a while now because I've been talking for an hour. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and peace.